Today, on this episode of Randy Would Never Waste Your Valuable Time, I'm going to be comparing five of the best, five of five very popular GMRS radio antennas. Now, I'm not testing them to see how many FARs you can talk on each of them. I'm testing them. I'm comparing them so that we can see how they work in relation to one another. This is not a distance test for the antennas. This is a comparison so that you can decide which GMRS antenna is best for your active GMRS lifestyle. So in no particular order, I will be testing the Midland MXTA26 6 dB gain antenna, which costs $59, affiliate link below. The Browning BR450 5.5 gain, 5.5 dB gain antenna, which costs $24, Affiliate link below. The Midland MXT A25 3 dB gain ghost antenna, which costs $49. Affiliate link below. The Nagoya UT72G 3.5 dB gain antenna. That is a dual uh, GMRS and MERS, dual band antenna that costs $35. Affiliate link below. And finally, the Midland MXT A13 2.1 dB gain antenna which costs $19. Now, like I said twice already, this is not a distance test. Please, for the love of Xenu, I don't need to see any comments posted telling me that if I had done this or done that, you could have talked further. You're I know this is not a distance test. We are going to compare how each of these antennas work when compared to each other in real world tests real world tests because most of us don't live in a book or a spec sheet. Most of us live in the real world. Now, no matter how I do this test, not a test, comparison, no matter how I do this comparison, somebody, some people, some people are going to leave comments saying, you did it wrong. You did it wrong. Uh. So let me just lay out what exactly I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it so that there's no question of what's going on and so, there, so there's no confusion. I will be using the Wuxin Ocean KG XS20G 20 20G 20 watt GMRS mobile radio connected to my Sam oh, affiliate link below available only at buy2aradios.com connected to my Samlex power supply. It's down on the floor. You can't see it. 12 volt power supply that I got from buy2aradios.com. The KG XS20G will be set at high power, which is 20 watts on GMRS channel 19. The radio will be connected to my power and SWR meter and each antenna that I test will then be connected to that power and SWR meter also so that as I test them, we can see the SWR for each antenna. My loyal companion, Chris, will be at his house in his garage with his Yesu VX6R handheld radio with a signal stick antenna. He will be at his garage, sitting in his garage, 10.1 miles away and I'm going to go through each antenna we will hook oh all of these antennas require a ground plane so they will be connected to a pie pan which I will set in my window just so there's no walls or less walls between us the pie pan will serve as a ground plane I know this is not a perfect ground plane. We do not need to see any comments explaining ground plane theory and why this is not a perfect ground plane. Don't worry though, you will still get a gold star for the day just for watching. The pie pan will serve as a good enough ground plane for a level comparison, real world comparison of all antennas. I have marked the exact center of the ground plane And I will actually be using the exact center, not necessarily so that I can get the perfect, most optimal. It's so that when I put the antennas on, they all have magnet magnetic mounts. They will all be in the same place so that we can have a consistent comparison or as consistent as possible. Consistent, consistent. This is not a scientific experiment or test for the love of Xenu. We do not need any comments explaining scientific theory and test theory and that. This is a real world test with human ears and inaccurate instruments. We know that. But the goal is to get a real world comparison of all of these antennas to see if any are significantly better or significantly worse than the other. This will not be good enough for some people 
And to those people, I just want to say, I do not care. The first antenna that we will be testing, comparing, is the Browning BR450 antenna, 4.5 dB gain antenna, $24 affiliate link below. This is a UHF antenna. This is the only UHF antenna I will be testing. This is the first antenna that I used when I started, got my first GMRS radio in my Jeep. I used a UHF antenna because I couldn't find any GMRS specific antennas to purchase at the time. Now, GMRS antennas are also UHF antennas, but a UHF antenna covers a wider, is, is tuned for a wider band, a wider range of frequencies, which means you have to cut and tune this antenna. GMRS antennas, if it says GMRS, that it's made specifically for GMRS, you normally do not have to tune. The reason I stopped using this antenna is because it's too long. It's a 33 or 34 inches long, and on my Jeep, I could barely get it into the garage. You can see it's got a little bend there at the tip so I could get it in and out of the garage. So this will be the first one that we test. So I have connected the Browning BR450 to an NMO magnetic mount, which is now on the pie pan in the window. I have my Wuxin Ocean KG XS20G right here and my Surecom SW102 SWR meter affiliate links below. So I'm gonna call out to my friend Chris 10.1 miles away to see how we're coming in there. And we're gonna look at the SWR while we do that. Chris, do you copy? How do we sound on the Browning BR450 UHF antenna? One, two, three, four. Little static behind you, but I legible. You're at about 50% uh, on the meter. Roger that. Thank you very much. Stand by. So he was hearing us pretty good, 10 miles away on that antenna, and he was coming in pretty much full strength here. And we were getting a reading of 1.52 on the SWR. The next antenna is the Midland. MXTA266 dB gain antenna. This is the antenna that I now use on my Jeep. You may notice it's actually a little bit dirty because I don't use my radios and antennas in the basement. I actually go out and use them for adventuring purposes. This antenna is a couple of inches shorter than the Browning BR450, which it replaced. That was the main reason that I started using the, uh, that's my radio, it's still on. It's the main reason I switched and started using the Midland antenna instead of the Browning, because it fits in the garage better. So we've got the Midland on the pie pan in the window. Let's give Chris a call, see how we sound, see how we sound there, and uh, see what the SWR is. Chris, how are we coming in on the Midland MXT? So a little bit lower signal with the uh, Midland and the SWR was coming in at 1.2. Now, the nice thing about the Midland is that I didn't have to cut it or tune it or anything. I took it out of the bag, started using it. Near perfect SWR 1.2, no cutting required. The next antenna is the Midland MXT A25 ghost antenna. Still brand new and in the package. I have never used this antenna, by the way. Full disclosure, the Browning BR50 I paid for with my own monies that I saved up all by myself. All of the Midland antennas were sent to me by Midland for testing with some of their radios. And I'm gonna be testing a Nagoya in a minute that was sent to me by buy2wayradios.com for testing with radios also, just in case you were wondering. Ooh, opening it for the first time. It's like an unboxing video because we all know how exciting unboxing videos are. So satisfying. So let's see how the Midland MXTA 25 Ghost Antenna, it's only 3 dB gain, cost $49. Affiliate link below. Let's see how that reaches Chris 10.1 miles away. Chris, do you copy using the... Do you copy using the MXTA 25 Ghost Antenna? Now the SWR on the ghost antenna is 
one to one, which is high. I, that would not be good. Uh, but as you heard, he said it's coming in loud and clear, better than the other antenna, which is a bit surprising. Higher SWR on the Ghost antenna, but it works very well at 10.1 miles. The next antenna I will be testing is the Nagoya, Nagoya uh, UT72G. It has its own magnetic base. It's kind of an all-in-one unit. So let's slap this one on the pie pan and see how it sounds. Chris, how do we sound? On the Nagoya UT72, one, three, four. The modulation was better. Still bad it can hate behind you, but very legible. That's been the best so far as uh, third. So Chris says that the Nagoya UT... <laughs> 72G is the best sounding one so far. Uh, it certainly was the best SWR 1.01 to 1. That is on the imperfect pie pan using the all-in-one cable that comes with it because it, it comes with the cable and that mount. It's all one piece. The coil's all wadded up. There's nothing perfect or optimal about this setup. And yet it's got a near perfect optimal SWR. Very surprising. He says it sounds the best. Also very surprising. The next antenna on the list is the Midland MXT A13. The dinky antenna. This is the antenna that comes with the micro mobile radios when you buy them. It's a magnetic mount. It's got a little peel off sticky that you can stick to your, if you've got a plastic fender or something, and then the radio sticks, uh, the antenna sticks to that. It's all in one. It's got a very thin wire, and I think it's 20 feet long, maybe 19 feet long. I think. I don't care. It's long. It'll reach your, from one end of your vehicle to the other. So let's slap this dinky. This is only a little about, it's about uh, six inches long. Now I've been saying for years that shorter is better. Let's see how true that is. Chris, do you copy one, two, three, four? Okay, so this one had the SWR of 1.86 to 1, and as you heard from Chris, the worst performing out of the bunch, which is to be expected. It's shorter. Shorter apparently is not always better. It is only 2 dB gain, so it is expected that it would not work as well as the others. I've used this antenna before. It works well. It is still a decent working antenna, but again, for the size, when compared to the other ones, not the best working antenna. So there you have it, a complete comparison, not a test, not a range test, comparison of several popular GMRS antennas. If you have any questions about the test, not a test, comparison. If you have questions about the comparison, if I left anything out, if I did something wrong, I don't care. I don't want to hear about it. But if you have questions, you know how this works.